These children. I don't know what's wrong with them. How can you get five out of hundred? And your colleagues are getting 95 out of 100. Mr. Ken Red Hart. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Ken. What? More practice. No, 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 but that is a serious offense. So where is the student? Okay. Um, are you sure you caught the person cheating? All right. So this is what I will advise you do. Yes. Just just seize the paper and sack the person. Let let her go home. Yes. So seize the paper and sack it from the hall. Yes, don't allow her to write. Yeah, I know that's the that's the last their last paper. But if you are saying it's a more practice issue, that is the that's the penalty. So you seize the paper and sack the person from the room. Exactly. All right, I'm in my office. Okay. I'm equally marking one of their papers. And some are getting 5 out of 100. Whilst others are getting 95. These students, eh, some are just not serious at all. They won't study. And during exam, that is when they want to copy from their, from their neighbors. Take the paper and suck her away from the, the classroom. Lady who doesn't want to study. All right, bye. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with these students. Sometimes they make you regret even becoming a teacher or a head teacher. Everyday issues, left and right. Hall. Is that what you do in this school? Sir, please sit down. Sit down. No, sir, please calm down. Calm down at what? What? Why should I calm down? Uh, do you know that once that my daughter has, has gotten in a, in a previous school? No, oh, how can you tell me this? Mr. Ian, how can you tell me this? You know how brilliant my daughter is? Eh? You said, what, what, what did you do again? I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything? And they did what? And they, so they took my paper and said, Who took your paper? And Sir Kennedy. Sir Kennedy. Yeah. I'll make sure that that Sir Kennedy is sacked from this school. Do you know who I am? Do you know, do you, do you know who my daughter is? No, how can you do that? I'll make sure that that Mr. Kennedy is sacked from this school. Sir, please come. Come down for what? Um, no, 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 come down for what? No, please, come down for what? This is a total disgrace to my daughter and to my family as well. She will come home crying, saying that um, I, I, they, they, they said I was cheating the examination, so, so I, I, I had to go out. No, 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 no. Uh, Mr. Sir, 
please, please come. You know, there is no problem without a solution. And I understand your frustration. I don't actually get the whole picture. The angle you are coming from, why you are angry. I don't get it though, but you, please come down and let's settle it. I'm the headmaster in the school. So, whatever be the issue, I'll be the last point of result in the school. So, you, please come down, okay? And the way you are talking, it looks like she's my student. So, you don't worry. There is no problem we can't solve. Just come down, okay? So, we talk about, please, what's the issue? She came home. And she said one Mr. Kennedy sacked her from the examination hall just because he said he, he saw my daughter uh, in an uh, examination more, more, more practice. Which, which, it is, it is not true. Did you do it? Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for explaining that uh, to my hearing. But you know what? Um, I want to talk to your daughter. Please, um, what's your name? I'm Stacy. Stacy, please, which form are you? Form three. All right. You are part of the final students who are about to graduate. Okay. Yes, wow. Well, um, when did it happen? Yesterday afternoon, we were writing the English paper. In the afternoon, yesterday? Yes. Ha, okay. I got a call yesterday from Mr. King, like you said, uh, like your father said. The Mr. Kennedy you said is actually a teacher here. I got a call yesterday. I didn't know she was the one. But then I got a call that a student is asking, engaging in more practice in the exam. And you know, it's a serious offense. So the bottom line was, okay, seize the paper, or you take the paper from the student, and you send the person from the room. That is actually the punishment. And that is the policy back end. So I, myself, actually instructed him that if that is the case, then go ahead and implement the law. So, I'm sure that is the reason your daughter was sacked. So, um, whatever be the case, you don't worry. You said you didn't do that. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Ken, I have sent him. Um, and I can't let your daughter go and come maybe another time. Okay. Is it possible I can give you a similar question to answer right now? Will it be okay? Are you sure? So just give me some seconds. But sir, so sorry about that. And you still wouldn't want to sit. You want to stand. I want to stand. Because she's actually, I want her to do the exam here. I don't want us to engage in any conversation. So let's give her some peace to write her paper. Okay, madam, it is. Um, okay, so it's exactly 12 p.m. And it's two hours later. So by 2 p.m., you're stopping here. You will start with all the rest.
that it happened. I, I, you know, I wasn't there. Like I said, Mr. Ken is also not alive at the moment, but I'm going to step in for him, okay? But what I'm seeing, and I guess my, I can't say my teacher lied, but I can't also say your daughter cheated, okay? But let's say yesterday never happened. So we are going to use what she has done here to bring her so that she can actually graduate. So, madam, so sorry about what happened. From what I'm seeing, she's actually a brilliant student. Her handwriting, the kind of things she has written for me, the answers she has provided, she's a brilliant student. So we are so sorry for what happened. And I'll make sure it never happened. I don't know if I've been able to catch an issue. No, because I was really, really upset. This, 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 this is something that my daughter is like, she can't do that. Stacy, sorry about what happened, okay? okay. Um, looking at what I just marked, like I said, and I told your father, you are a brilliant student, and I will urge you to continue being that. But I just want to know why, because looking at what you've written here, I wonder why you would copy in the exam. What actually happened? Okay, so when we were writing the paper, a girl was sitting behind me all day. Mm -hmm. So I tried to tell her that I don't want to be concentrated on my work. So when um, Mr. Kennedy saw me, she said I'm copying, so I should right. go out of the examination. Just look at this. It happens, okay? So sorry about that, but you know, sometimes a lot of people become victims of situations that have nothing to do with them. So I'm sure you might have just been a victim. Sorry about that, okay? But I also advise you that next time when someone is, is disturbing you like that, in order to save yourself from problems like this, draw your intelligence attention, okay? So that it can save you from trouble. Imagine someone who rather wants to copy from you. She was able to write her paper, but you, you were evicted from the exam. So please, next time, then you do that, okay? Sir, thank you so much for coming, but please, next time, when you also come, please take it easy because there is a problem that we have to solve. We are equally human. Imagine you came to meet someone who will also be rude like that to you. But because I'm a professional teacher, that's why I allow you to pour all your grievances and later I attend it to you. Thank you so much for coming. So please come to school tomorrow, okay? That's that's why you came in this. Yes. Oh, sorry about that. All right. Have a nice day, sir.